my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are so excited for this new update. So some of you will already have it and in the coming weeks you will be asked to update to version 6.14.267 on your desktop. So this is any of the desktop computers that obviously you get the full design space with. When you get the update, you may find that you already have the new features. If you don't, don't panic because they will be rolling them out over the next few weeks once you've got the update. So you could get the update and have the new features or you could get the update and not have them. But don't panic because you will be getting them. And as I say, over the last few days, some of you will already have this. So the new update features are to do with uploading images. So if we go to upload image and browse, and this is specifically for JPEG and PNG images. I'm just going to select a JPEG image from my computer and open it. So with a JPEG, we need to remove the background. With a PNG, it's often already done, but you want to always select complex and continue. You'll see that the next screen is slightly different. So we've now got this, which is automatic background removal. And we've also got this area here with the restore button, which is amazing. But we're going to talk about the remove background first. So currently, if you're on one of the older versions, to remove the background, you need to use the select tool. And that's fine for an image like this where the background is one solid color. However, if the background is like this and you've got different versions of a color, you are going to struggle to use that select tool. And you may find that it takes you ages and ages and then you have to go in and clean it up using the arrays so it can be a real nightmare the great thing with the remove background tool is that you can select it and it will then automatically remove the background for us now it's important to note that you will get varying results some images it will do it perfectly some images you may need to play with it a little bit in terms of the erase tool afterwards but for images like this where you've got different textures or different hues of the same color it's absolutely fantastic now i do need to say that whilst everyone will be able to see the automatic background remover and you will be able to use it and see how your photo your image ends up you will only be able to go to apply and continue if you are an access user so the automatic remove background tool is only going to be available to access subscribers I know everyone's going to have a lot to say about this. What I will say is that a subscription package will always come with extra benefits than the basic free package. I can see all sides to this and I absolutely get where all sides are coming from. But as an Access subscriber and someone who loves Design Space, I'm really excited about this background tool. But that's not the big thing for me for me the restore tool is really where this is amazing and the great thing is the restore tool is open to all users so as i say if you are an access subscriber you'll be able to use the automatic background remover and save your image if you are a non-access subscriber you will be able to use it to see the result that you will get but you will not be able to save that image so again, we can use our select tool, which on this one is nice and easy. We, it's a nice, easy one to do. So it will just remove that background. Now, if we use the automatic background remover on this one, because this white and this white 
are the same, it will remove this white as well. So you may find with some images, the select tool is still the better option. And equally, you may find that the background remover is also the better option. So as you play with more images, you'll know which tool to use. Now, the really exciting thing about this for me is the restore tool, because previously all we had was undo. So if we used our select tool and it removed this, we would either have to undo it and then manually try and erase everything, or we would have to bring it in and then use either the contour or put an image behind here so that we could create a solid background. Now we can use the restore tool. So in order to use the restore, at the moment it's blacked out. If I simply select the erase and just click where it's already erased, that restore will now become available to me. So I can select restore and of course I can change the brush size and it's only going to bring back where I use my brush. So I'm gonna make my brush just a little bit smaller and I'm then going to restore this area here and the area around the nose and the mouth and then the glasses as well. So with this one, if I use the automatic background remover, because this white and this white is the same, it's going to remove those. I can revert the image. If I use my selection tool, again, it's going to remove this part because the white bleeds through. That's nice and easy though, because I can use my restore. So if I can only use my select tool because I am not an access subscriber, so I cannot save this if I use the automatic background remover, I can still use that restore tool to come in and restore that area that's been taken away. Equally, if I use my automatic background remover, and it removes part of my image, again, I can just select an erased area to bring up my restore tool, and I can then come in, increase my brush size, and restore that area that's then been removed. Sometimes you may find when you use either the select tool or the automatic background remover, the areas that shouldn't get removed do. And of course, selecting the undo button only undoes everything. It will not bring back just those individual areas. So I can, of course, use my restore tool to bring those back. So again, I'm going to use my background remover because on an image like this, using the select tool is a bit of a pain in the backside. And then for if some bizarre reason it did remove more of my image than I wanted it to. So for example, this area here and maybe this area here and maybe this area here. I can simply get my restore, increase my brush size or decrease it if it's a small area. And I can then go over that area and restore that part of the image. I really do think that the restore tool is absolutely amazing. So don't forget that the update will be rolling out over the next few weeks. If you don't have the automatic background remover or the restore tool, when you do the update, don't panic, you will be getting it, but not everyone will get it with the update. The other thing to remember is that everyone will be able to use the automatic background remover, but only those with access will be able to actually save the image. And the restore is available for everyone to use. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. And as always, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.